the universe. Endless expanses, full of surprises and ever new events. This month, the news of new sightings, mysterious apparitions, and fascinating events have once again come thick and fast. We now present to you the most recent and amazing discoveries of space scientists. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up. Subscribe to Simply Space and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. A galaxy made of entirely dark matter? A galaxy consisting only of dark matter would be virtually empty. In fact, there are only very few stars in the comparatively large galaxy Dragonfly 44. The luminosity of ultra-diffuse galaxies like this one is very low. Clearly, there are no stars in it. Dragonfly 44 consists of about 99% of nothing. But this nothing seem to be quite heavy. Researchers guessed where the large mass of the empty galaxy came from. It could be an important key to the study of dark matter. It is only noticeable by its weight, but is not visible. But apparently the mystery of the extraordinary weight of this empty galaxy no longer needs to be solved. The British Royal Astronomical Society now announces that everything was just measurement and calculation errors. According to the latest observations, Dragonfly 44 is an ordinary dwarf galaxy without any special weight or strange occurrences. The First Journey to Mars The visionary billionaire Elon Musk is definitely serious. In just four years, a spaceship from his private company SpaceX is to be launched towards Mars. According to Musk, everything has been signed and sealed. But the scientists and pioneers have to wait until Mars is back in the best position to Earth. Due to its elliptical orbit, the red planet moves up to more than 100,000 kilometers away from us, and then it's quite close again with a distance of 55,000 kilometers. The first mission to Mars will still be unmanned, but Musk's goal is well known. To make Mars habitable in the long term. In theory, this would be possible if humans succeed in creating an atmosphere on Mars. And there are already plans for this. Elon Musk is currently testing various spaceships and exploration vehicles at his test site in Boca Chica in the U.S. state of Texas. As early as 2023, Musk wants to complete a spaceship that will be able to fly passengers around the moon. Why do galaxies have different shapes? In space, almost everything consists of rotation, spheres, disks, and spirals. Even apparently confused star clusters or cosmic nebulae often show astonishing patterns. There are two main forms of galaxies, the spiral disk and the elliptical rotation galaxies. Most galaxies show a very harmonic shape and predictable rotations. But then there are also very crazy galaxies in the form of letters, or tennis rackets. The extremely asymmetric galaxies are probably just recovering from a merger. When two galaxies collide, they merge. But millions of years will pass before everything is back in place in the new structure. Our Milky Way seems to have had its disk shape for a very long time. However, not long ago researchers found a bend in the Milky Way. This probably originates from a long ago collision with a smaller galaxy. Snapshot from Space Have you always wanted to know what a rocket launch looks like from above? Then we can help you now. Russian cosmonaut Ivan Wagner photographed the launch of his colleagues from space. On October 14th, the Soyuz rocket was launched to bring three more cosmonauts to the ISS. Seen from space, the gigantic Soyuz looks like a silly New Year's Eve rocket. The rockets, which are around 50 meters long and up to 10 meters wide, must accelerate to speeds of up to 28,000 kilometers per hour to reach Earth orbit. 
the current launch from the Russian space base in Kazakhstan, sets a new record. For the first time, astronauts were able to enter the ISS just three hours and three minutes after the launch from Earth. Do we live in a simulation? The theory was first published in 2003 by a Swedish philosopher named Nick Bostrom. He postulated that the probability that we live in a purely simulated universe is 50-50. But actually, this idea is not new. Even the scholars of the ancient Indian Vedic culture said exactly that. We humans live in a projection that we ourselves can create and control through our consciousness. The latest findings of quantum research underline these theories. After all, the researchers such as the German physicist Erwin Schrödinger, known through Schrödinger's cat, found out as early as 1935 that the outcome of experiments is changed by the expectations of the observer. In a U.S. talk show, an astrophysicist and a comedian now brought it to the point. When the talk show host compared the world to a computer game, comedian Nick Nice said, so we can't fly at the speed of light because it's not included in our game pack? Show host and astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson replied, We just can't do it until someone programs it into the game. Black Hole Turned a Star into Spaghetti Black holes are regarded as voracious monster mysteries in space. You cannot see them. You can only perceive them through their gravity and curvatures in space-time. Equipped with an insane suction power, Black holes swallow everything that comes too close to them. The observations from the Galaxy 2 MASX J0446379-10131 have now again provided interesting images of this unique force. This spectacle took place about 214 million light years away from Earth. An unlucky star has ventured too close to the black omnidirectional swallower at the center of the galaxy. The black hole ingested the star like a portion of spaghetti. The strong gravity plus the spiral motion pulled the star apart as if it consisted only of soft-boiled wheat. In technical terminology, the slurping of stars is actually called spaghettification. Mealtime! Earth-like planets with better conditions. Do you really still doubt that there are other living beings, civilizations, and worlds like ours out there? Then take a look at this. Researchers at the University of Washington looked for Earth-like planets with the Kepler Space Telescope. And they found them. About 24 so-called exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, were found. Biological life would theoretically be possible on all of these planets. On some of these exoplanets, there are even better living conditions than on Earth. Unfortunately, the researchers cannot really see or study the surfaces and atmospheres. Everything is based on calculations made on the basis of size, distance to the respective stars, and the appearance from a distance. Some of the best candidates are said to be slightly warmer than Earth, slightly larger, or have more land. Total amount of matter in the universe. Reduced to the greatest forces and phenomena, our universe contains visible matter, invisible dark matter, and dark energy. Until today, hardly anything is known about dark matter and dark energy. Dark energy is said to be the driving force behind the expansion of the universe. However, scientists today are no longer quite so sure whether the universe really originates from one source and is drifting apart linearly from there. Several recent discoveries speak more for a non-linearly drifting apart cosmos, which originates from several sources. Researchers have now calculated how the quantity distribution of matter in the previously known universe is. Dark and visible matter make up 31.5% of the total, the remaining 68.5% being the mysterious dark energy. Gold in the Universe have you ever wondered how gold is actually created? One could think that it is somehow made on Earth. But that's simply not true. To produce gold, very special substances have to come together and combine. 
the fusion of atoms and molecules to form gold, can only take place under the influence of the greatest forces. In the past, it was assumed that gold was created by the explosion of stars. The gold on our Earth would probably come from a star that exploded somewhere nearby our solar system. Now scientists found out that even this enormous force is not enough to create gold. Rather, it seems that only the collision of two neutron stars can create gold. Neutron stars are remnants of exploded stars, or so-called supernovae. By the way, there is too much gold on Earth. Once again, scientists have calculated and calculated. The amount of heavy elements on Earth does not fit the history of the solar system. Consequently, the researchers came to the conclusion that the external gold could have come from space via meteorite and asteroid impacts. By the way, the biological origin of life could have come to the Earth in a very similar way. A piggyback with an asteroid from somewhere out in space. Boots Void, the Great Nothing One knows the constellation Boots, also by the name Barenhuter. It is located near the much better known constellation Big Bear. Boots Void is a huge region, in which remarkably little is present. The almost circular appearance has a diameter of 330 million light years. Void simply means emptiness. Eight galaxies cavort in this gigantic void. Measured by the other density and distribution in the universe, there should be up to 2,000 galaxies in such a space. So, there is really not much in Boots Void. Whether this economical distribution has any deep meaning or is coincidence, researchers do not know at the current moment. There they were, our 10 brand new discoveries from space. Which one impressed you the most? Would you like to be one of the first passengers on Elon Musk's space cruise ships to fly around the moon? Or find a gold meteorite from space? Write us your stories, ideas, and opinions in the comments.